Good morning and welcome to day three of my vlog. Last night we saw a show, so I'm going to um, show you some of the footage now. Good news, it's cloudy today and not that sunny, so it means I won't get sunburned because my whole body is sunburned, it's so painful. And um, now we are um, going to breakfast and we're going to have a relaxing day today. We have an army of ants trespassing our flat. They're all in a line. <laughs> They're trespassing. They're all walking along here. How interesting. They're walking in um, a line, like the army. <laughs> right, so that is the end of today, and I will um, see you tomorrow.
We are just watching Ben Scott Tyler. I can't film any of it or my video will be taken down for copyright. But uh, after that, we're going to go and watch the show. So I will film that for you in uh, this video. Also, just saying, going to Arrecife. It's not Arrecife, it's Arrecife today. It was um, really nice. It's a really nice um, seaside place. Um, Lanzarote is um, quite nice, actually. It's like a desert. 
as in, like, where there's not, like, civilization, there's a desert. And I don't think many people live here apart from most, most of the population's tourists. I'd say about, guessing, two-thirds of the people that live here are tourists. And most of um, the land is just desert, there's just nothing there, there's no animals, like, nothing, virtually. Um, so it's really weird, it's as old as, like, the Sahara Desert or something. Also, today is the, um, it's the 30th of May today, um, as you would have seen at the start of the video, but today is um, a special day in Canary Islands. It's given a posh name in Spanish, but today is the celebration um, that the Canary Islands do every year, um, um, which um, shows they, it's the day they joined Spain, if that makes sense, because we're technically in Spain now, so it's the day they joined Spain, and they celebrate their unity with Spain on this day every year, because this is when it happens. So there was a massive thing at the meal, they were all doing Canarian food, which is the Canary Islands, there's lots of Canary Islands, but the main ones are Foreign Ventura, Grand Canaria, Tenerife, and Lanzarote. Um, and there was loads of cakes, there was a cake in the volcano, because obviously these islands, um, history with Dom now, um, these islands were formed from um, volcanoes bursting out of the land. So there was a special papier-mâché volcano, there was also a cake um, made with um, goffia, which is toasted, like roasted corn, which is a famous um, ingredient here. And it was in the shape of Lanzarote with a flag on, so there's loads of celebrations today as a result of that. Just thought I'd give you a bit of a history lesson there. Right, so I realised I haven't done a lot of um, talking um, to you yet on this vlog series, just because I've just been too busy editing stuff. So I want to say that all the Spanish people here have done really, really well to um, learn English. And um, their English... Well, I don't even know why you're choosing to watch this. Just me rabble on. But, um... It's it's not even, like, an important subject, but anyway, um, they've done so well to learn um, English, because I do French, and I find that really, really difficult. And their um, English is not perfect. There's a lot of, like, pauses, a lot of them saying things dramatically wrong and stuff. Um, but who cares, because they're still conveying over what they want to say. So in French, for our GCSEs, the GCSE board's fault, really, we get taught drama, drama, drama. They know vocabulary and how to say things, but not actual drama. So who cares about the drama? Because they're still communicating to us, and us English people, or British people, still understand what they are um, trying to say, if that makes sense. So, who cares if sometimes I might say words wrong? Like, if I go to French, I, I just know loads of French drama which gets, which goes through my head. Uh, if I go to France, I'll have no clue what to say, but if I home taught myself just French words, say if I learned 50 French words a day, or maybe that's Bear Street, then I would be fine in French. Maybe my grammar won't be right, but people will still understand what I'm trying to say. So what I'm saying is, they've done really well to learn English, and um, we shouldn't get taught drama, we should actually get to communicate the language with people, and then we learn the drama later to, like, be the icing on the cake of the uh, language, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Sorry if me walking round here got you annoyed. <laughs> I, I just can't stand still and film. It's just annoying. I have to walk round. I just have to. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a hyper mood. I should really start. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye and good night. Or if you're watching this video in the morning or the afternoon, have a nice afternoon and evening and rest of your day and stuff. If I am known then, or what I know now, I wouldn't have said what I said. I took the long road, thought I'd be better on my own. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead. Cause I was too young, and I did.